Getting new baby chicks is so exciting and fun, but what if you bring one home and it just doesn't look right? It's not eating, it's not drinking, it looks droopy, it looks sad. There are some things that you can do to try and save it, so let's talk about it. In an uncertain world, one thing unites us all, the chicken. From the suburbs to the big city, let's learn an inclusive and stress-free way to raise chickens. Welcome to Chickenlandia. Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. I have nursed my fair share of baby chicks back to health. I used to go to different farm stores during baby chick season and I would do seminars and there were so many times when I would come home with a sick baby chick that they had at the farm store and they were like, please take this baby chick home. <laughs> so I would take it home, I would put it in my shirt, drive home with it and try and nurse it back to health. So I don't wanna lie to you, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, but I do wanna tell you what I have learned to be the best process to take whenever I had a sick baby chick. And hopefully it can help you if you're going through this situation right now or if you just wanna be prepared for it. What is funny is that that's actually how I got Philippe, my rooster. He wasn't sick, but I brought him and his sister Pop-Tart home to take care of this little sick baby chick I had. Her name was Lucky. And now, uh, you know, Philippe attacks me daily. <laughs> you suspect, Philippe. <laughs> you are suspect. Oh my goodness. So if you have a baby chick that isn't eating or drinking and it looks really listless and like it's not doing very well, it could be so many things. You just, you just never know unless you have a proper diagnosis from a licensed veterinarian. But what I will say is usually what it is is something called starve out. And that's when basically a baby chick doesn't get to food and water soon enough after they hatch. Baby chicks have about 48 hours after they hatch to get to feed and water. During that time, they're still soaking up the nutrients from their egg. Kiki, what are you doing in here, over here? Say hi to the camera and then I want you to not mess with the camera anymore. <laughs> Basically what happens is the baby chicks become so weak that they kind of lose their will to live. So if you can kind of awaken that will in them by giving them a big boost of nutrition, then you at least have a little bit of a chance of bringing them back. So here's my simple protocol. It's really easy. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Go check it out and we'll come back here and talk about it. So before we get started, I do want to let you know that usually starve out happens to very young baby chicks, but this can be helpful to older chicks too if they are sick and they stop eating or drinking, depending on what they have going on. Okay, what you will need is one green tea bag, one cup of hot water, which you will want to let cool down before you add the electrolytes, one pack electrolyte vitamin and probiotic powder for chicks, one egg yolk, and one needleless syringe. To make the slurry, first I want you to make some weak green tea. And depending on the kind you have, you can seep it for 30 seconds or less. You just really don't want it to be super strong. It just needs to be strong enough to perk the chick up. Per the package instructions, add the appropriate amount of vitamin, electrolyte, and probiotic powder to the green tea. Now this is optional, you can also add two drops of rescue remedy to the slurry, and that's a homeopathic flower remedy that I talk about a lot because I love it. Basically, it just helps with their stress level, and you can get this at your local pet supply store, online, and at most health food stores. So now you're gonna stir 1 8 cup of the green tea electrolyte solution into your egg yolk, and this is your slurry. Now you can add the slurry to your needleless syringe and slowly feed it to your baby chick by placing drops on the side of their beak. You don't wanna force feed your baby chick because it's very easy to drown them. Just place the drops on the side of their beak and they should drink up the drops. You can stop when your baby chick seems full or they're just not interested in drinking any more drops. And you wanna feed them several times a day this way until hopefully they perk up and start eating on their own. 
So it is best to remove them from the flock when you're doing this, but I want you to get a little friend for it and put it with a little friend because you don't want baby chicks to be alone if you can help it because they will get really sad. Another thing that you can do if you just want something that's easier or if you suspect your baby chick has a vitamin deficiency going on is you can go to the farm store or you can go online and get a product called Nutri Drench. And you can mix that in the syringe with a little bit of egg yolk and give that to them per the dosage instructions on the bottle and that would be great for them as well. That sweet little baby chick that I had when I got Philippe, she actually did not make it. She lived a few weeks and she just never learned how to eat on her own. It was very sad, but I also understand that there's just some baby chicks that aren't meant to stay here despite our best efforts. So if that happens to you, I don't want you to feel guilty because you didn't do anything wrong. It's just nature and sometimes it can be really rough. Baby chicks are so little and cute and fuzzy, but they grow really fast. So if you wanna know when it's okay to put your baby chicks outside, I want you to watch this video right here. It's 100% friendly, backyard chickens, education and entertainment, and I know you're gonna love it.